Hi folks, welcome to Bar Makes Things. Today, all eight octopus arms assembled and attached to the new base. Bar Makes Things! So we have the two types of arm mechanisms. The cable controlled arm with two axes of movement and the straw finger mechanism arm with a single axis. When I first modeled the base piece, somehow I got excited, forgot there were two different types and modeled all the connection points the same. Well, I needed to reprint it anyway. I made the wall thicker so it wouldn't flex and adjusted the flanges to fit the larger tubes of the straw finger arms. And then I thought about the orientation of the arms. The cable controlled arms will be able to bend up or down, so they should be oriented straight out. But the straw arms will only bend up, so they should be angled down by default. And then I forgot to record making those changes, but it looks like this. I closed up the wire holes on the six that wouldn't need them. You'll notice that there's still a single larger hole next to each. That's a secret I'll tell you about in a later video. and change to print. Um, I don't particularly want to print it again. And it did this thing, part of it slipped and it got a little bit wonky. I could reprint it, but like five hours. If I really need to reprint it for like structural differences, I'll do that, but yeah, I can tweak that. So I used a Dremel with a cutoff wheel to remove the slipped part. I hung onto it so I can reattach it if I really need to, but the partial flange seems to be giving enough support. In a previous video, I said I wanted the first discs to be part of the base. Would have been at least nine hours with the discs attached, which, no. I made discs that could press onto the extended flanges and printed those individually. This actually makes it easier to put the arms on. I secured the discs on the straw finger arms with wire. I don't know what the octopus is called yet, but I do know it's super buff. <laughs> and finally, I attached all of the arms to the base. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew that a couple of the arms shouldn't move or else they would just poke me in the face. So the two closest to my neck will probably not move, they'll just look like they're holding on. Maybe I'll use magnets so that they are actually. Next, I wanna get the servos rolling so the arms will move on their own. Possible names for my octopus. Nemo, Jules Verne, Otto, Bruce, Inky, the Kraken. I'm not sure yet, you have any other name ideas? If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, write your congressperson. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Yeah.